Hey everyone, I'm Rosalie Michaels, and today we're talking to Dr. Josh Abrams. He is a spine surgeon with the Desert Institute for Spine Care. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Rosalie. Appreciate that. So a lot of us deal with back pain. I mean, we all do. And we've heard the term, oi, my sciatica, but I have to be honest with you, I don't know what a sciatica is. Can you tell me what it is? Sure. So sciatica is, is a descriptive term that we use uh, when talking about an irritation to a nerve. We have a series of nerves that come from our low back. And if you have an irritation to one of the nerves, whether it's a stretch or a compression, that can cause pain that travels both into the back and or to the leg. And that's what we call sciatica. Oh, right. Down the leg there too, huh? Okay. So if I come in, how do you di diagnose that it is sciatica? So we sit down, we have that conversation about uh, what your symptoms are, how long you've been having them, and even sometimes how di disabling those symptoms are. I may even ask you what, uh, what treatments you've had. And I want to make sure that that correlates to uh, an examination, whether you're having irritation down your leg or in your low back. And if appropriate, we may even get an MRI to confirm that diagnosis. Okay, so the diagnosis comes back, it is a sciatica. What are my treatment options? Yeah, so once we identify where that pressure is on that nerve based on, again, that conversation, the examination, and the MRI, then we want to see if your body can heal itself. So commonly, that will get better by about four to six weeks. If, in fact, it doesn't, then we talk about different options, which may either include an epidural steroid injection, which involves putting medicine near the nerve to help shrink the irritation, and or even a potentially a surgery to take pressure off of that nerve. Are there different types of surgery? Sure. So... The surgeries that we employ are minimally invasive techniques, some of which may involve an, an endoscope or some that may involve a microscope to take pressure off of that nerve to remove either the disc herniation or, or commonly a bone spur causing pressure on that nerve. Now the beauty of those minimally invasive techniques is the recovery time is very short. It's only approximately about two to four weeks to, to get you back to your normal daily activities. Lots of great information. Thank you so much, doctor. We'll see you next time.